Hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, almost back to my usual normal time. Um, I hope that you guys were able to catch the previous video. For some reason, the, the signal, the Wi-Fi was weird. And it looked on my computer that it just got posted. But it was like, I don't know, like two hours, three hours ago. But I wanted to share more about that self-worth. Okay? And um, it's a little bit in regards to... This person that I kind of have a crush, but she's kind of like somebody that I look up to and whatnot. And she, on her last post, po podcast, sorry, had a little tongue trouble there, um, was sharing her vision for the new year, personal and business. And when it came to the personal, which, of course, I was very interested, um, she put a few things into perspective and other things that I kind of had a thought about it and, and almost want to have her uh, rethink on her approach before she start taking action. So with that said, the whole concept is self-worth um, and also uh, in regards to her goal to eat healthier, uh, less bad carbs and whatnot, because carbs seems to be her, her uh, anchor and her comfort food and all that thing that goes with it. Uh, now, on that topic, I wanted to continue on because not only this person is amazing, and we called her Jamie, by the way, uh, just for anonymously here on the public uh, social media platform, um, but the, the thing is that this person is super successful, like seven-figure business, amazing uh, wellness practitioner. Uh, she's very clear on what she's after. Uh, she actually journals, which is one thing I admire uh, on everybody that does actually writes and journal. Um, now, the two things that I want to share with you, uh, and you hopefully um, you can apply it if you have not yet applied, is to reverse engineer in little chunks. I call them chunks. Um, the the way I, t I was learned or taught of was in Kaizen uh, style we say in chunk so going back to reverse engineering so like right now I'm looking all the way through March April so I gotta reverse engineer all the stuff I need to get done so when March April goals or events that I got coming up are here everything that needed to to prepare me get me ready and and everybody that I need to be involved have been said and done by then instead of waiting until the last minute. Now, with that said, here comes the very, very, uh, one of the big nuggets that I learned uh, three or four years ago, the whole 80-20 rule applies to just about every aspect of your life. So that's when I was mentioning in the previous video, if you haven't, that this person that kind of secretly have a crutch, um, she's paying and she's hiring people to help her, like housekeeper, uh, personal chef, trainers, um, you name it, therapist, all this stuff. But to me, you know, it comes down to self-worth versus their worth. Because she's paying all these people to do things that, yes, she needs help with, she needs their, their assistant with. But at the end of the day, if they kind of fade away, she's going to be stuck with the short end of the stick because she doesn't really deeply know uh, the, the the reason why this eating part, this eating component is so important to her. And this is what I'm talking about, primarily her eating. Her business is amazing, blown out of proportion. Like I've seen this person since she used to go to oh, a fitness conference with me um, and, uh, and now she runs a, a multi-figure business. Uh, anyway, so back to the 80-20%. So if you're trying to manage your eating, okay, I will focus 80% of your efforts on adding things that you're wanting to do. Do not change things. So again, they, your success is found in your daily routine. So whatever new you want to do, Start doing it. Do it over and over and over. Keep track of it for sure. That's when journaling goes back to writing it to be clear on you on what you want. But if you focus on more on adding versus subtracting, you'll see the snowball effect. 
that that's going to create on your daily routine um, and whatever it is that you're eating, either more water, more vegetable, less carb, more fat, whatever that is, that 80-20 rule applies. So now on that same token, if you're finding yourself that you need help with something else, uh, let's say that you need to work on getting more more cardio on the regular basis, right? So that's when you want to say, okay, what do I need to do to do cardio, to get my cardio? And you might be picky, like you don't want to do the elliptical, the treadmill, maybe you want to do spinning class, but you might need to save money to pay for the spinning class, or you need to uh, buy a new indoor home uh, cycle, whatever it is, reverse engineer it, and then you say, okay, buy Valentine's Day, I'm going to have a Peloton bike in my house, deliver. I'm going to be logged in to a group, and I'm going to do it three days a week. So you're going to start reverse engineering, and every day, every day until Valentine's Day, which is your deadline, you focus 80% of your effort on, okay, today I need to look at prices. Then tomorrow I'm going to start saving a mason jar or saving account or a transfer account, whatever you want to do. But just go... I, I, I always say narrow and deep on what you're wanting to go after, okay? So those two huge things, uh, if you go narrow and deep, okay, you get the most out of it. Now, it's going to be almost like a side blinder, and that's when uh, the whole concept of team and support comes in handy because you want to go... In narrow and deep, know that you're on the right track. And if you're not in the right track, get out of there and go to the next track that is probably the better one. Um, and that's when you can buy yourself speed, which Jamie, again, we're using the word, the name Jamie, uh, she does very well with her business. I mean, like she has a me- um, I know she has a media team now and the whole thing, somebody that helped her with her content and with her graphics and everything. Um, so if she can almost do this whole 80, 20 narrow and deep with primarily her self worth, like how come this thing about the eating healthier or less bad carb, I still trying to figure it out those two things, uh, and maybe change the mentality to a, how come it's so important to me? So it's get deeply rooted. So no matter if her personal chef, um, bails out on her or her trainer move location or if she gets sick you know what can she do during the recovery or she's traveling you know make it a part of her in town out of town wherever you are in the world um so that's when the value your standards uh come very very important because then you're so clear that no matter where you're at and who you're with you always have that north star Okay, so those two things I wanted to share, the 80-20 per 80, 20, uh, rule and also the reverse engineer. Again, share with me how you feel about this whole self-worth versus their worth. And, you know, how do you go about it? How do you improve it? Okay, with my clients, like I mentioned earlier, we use my uh, Wheel of Sanity system that I created and it's been successful for over 10 years with my client. And that's why they can do so much shit around uh, and still not live in the gym, still don't see me every single week um, unless they're injured. Uh, then I have to go in more frequently, but that's how I'm able to help so many more people and I can help you if you ever get in the gym. So comment below like I asked you before if not go to the previous video so you can get a background on what it's all about self-worth versus their worth talk to you guys later bye